one tip of how to take your perfect, perfect Instagram photos. First is your top half of your body is a ballerina. So what do ballerina do? Their shoulders is down, the chest is lifted out, their neck is tall, long, and their belly is tucked in. So when you stand like this, when you're actually posing and you're a beauty model, usually some poses, they require you to move your hands and move your shoulders. But as long as you have a long neck and have your chest open, your shoulders down, you can move as any how you can and it will still look amazing. So don't be scared to spread, to actually smile, to actually look at the camera, look away from the camera, use your hands in there, use your body, use your all of the props. Even, you can even use the clothes. And voila! That is one tip of how to take pictures as a model. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nahomi. In this video, we are going to learn how to pose outside in the wall at home or outside with props. The reason why I shot all these three looks is because I wanted to differentiate different types of style of shoots. So the first one is the wall one outside which is sunny and it's golden hours. So first of all, this look is, I call it the Instagram look. I call it the Instagram look because it's more clean and simple is all about you the brand wants to see you and see the clothing so you can tag them so i feel like that's for me that's my instagram pictures and for my campaign pictures campaign pictures i usually want to put in props like cheers or some kind of thing or glasses the kind of thing that makes it pops make the picture pop so pictures that are more um, involved with the location and props around. I feel like I call them the campaign pictures. So this is my take on how I shoot it. I think it went well. I think it really looks good because obviously um, I'm doing it by myself. And guys, what I'm using right now, I'm using my Sony camera 6400. It is one of the amazing camera that I just recently got and I love that it has a it has a flip screen basically. Oh my goodness, it has a flip screen where I can see myself. That's why, that's how I'm actually taking pictures and seeing how I pose. So if you are looking for a really good camera that you really feel like you want to shoot professional pictures, you can get this on Amazon and it comes with, actually comes with everything involved in it. It comes with the card, it comes with the tripod, it comes with a lot of things that basically you as a beginner, as a model beginner, you need a good camera to take pictures for yourself. So guys, invest in yourself, invest in your future. I will leave the link below, check it out and also go get all the stuff that I'm actually putting in there because when you have all this information, when you have all this product, pictures, videos will come like this to you. So now we are shooting indoors. Shooting indoors involves a lot of things. We it involves lights, it involves the props that you need, it involves a lot of different things. So it involves your tripod and recently I've been having a lot of fun having fun doing all these shoots because i have all the tripods ring and 
few tripods that I've bought, many few, all the years of my modeling, I have bought a lot of tripods, a lot of ring lights, a lot of different cameras that are, that did not even work for me before, but now, this is really awesome. This ring light that I'm using right now that is showing on my face, guys, I don't even need anything else. I just need that one ring light. And it will just... Like, watch. This is one of my backlight that I'm using. It has like a little white frame on top of it so that it's soft when it shoots. So this light, the front light on me right now is amazing. Watch. It can go really bright. So I'm just gonna leave it here. And the good part is my camera actually adjusts to the light. There you have it. That is a little bit of my demonstration of how I have set up my set here. So how do I shoot with my indoor shoots? I feel like when I do indoor shoots, are I feel like they're more the e-com side of it. I shoot it more the e-com side, which is more of your body, very minimal wall, light is very, is very white, it's very clean. For some reason, I just wanted this on my background to incorporate the outside photo shoot into the indoors photo shoot. So I wanted to have like a little bit of silk on it and um, to make it a little bit of So those are the things that I have been using. Those are the lights, the ring light, the camera, my phone, I'm using my phone too, the sunlight, natural light, and uh, me, and the white wall outside. Those are the things that I have used, and uh, I hope you can also use your environment to actually go do this photo shoot. So how I pose and on the wall is more of like elongation. I'm showing more of like my length, my uh, height, how I move with, my, how I give some shapes when I shoot. So that's how I actually pose on my Instagram on my wall. So now we pose with props. Usually having props on set is very difficult because some models are very they're like, what to do? What am I doing? What am I doing? They don't even know what to do with your hands. Usually my tip on using props is basically just doing what you're supposed to be doing with the props, but more elegant more prettier because if i'm holding a pen you're holding a pen some people hold pens like this some people hold pens like this some people yeah but obviously you have to hold your pen in a different way as a model so whenever you're posing and you're on the chair posing you're sitting down sit classy or sit opposite your classiness or in modeling when you're posing usually the things that you're posing with are contracts to your pose so if you're wearing a dress usually some people don't uh, close their legs when you wear a dress which is courtesy close your legs when you're wearing a dress is classy but in the modeling industry it's kind of frowned upon so you probably have to use different ways to pose but not in the more traditional way so when you're posing pose in an abstract way compared to your outfit so I really hope that some of these ideas are giving you guys some inspiration to actually go get this done. Come back for more guys and I hope that you guys are having a great time and having a great year. Not that good, but great year. So I will leave you with this. Go with God, go with love. <laughs>